soon as you sign up for Reporter, you're gonna get to this page where you're gonna uh, add the type of co company you have. So let's add marketing agents here and the number of projects you manage and then continue. And here you're gonna add our first project. So let's add Reporter and we can select the language here. So we have English, Brazilian, Portuguese, French and Spanish. So let's select English and move forward. In the project integration page, you can add any of those integrations and we have more coming soon. So let's integrate Facebook first. And get just to confirm our password. And continue. And then we have to select our page here. I'm gonna select Reporter. And as we have an Instagram account associated with that page, we suggest it here so you can just integrate the Instagram page too. Okay, so let's add Facebook ads. And just have to select the account here. And okay, we have three integrations now. We could add more here, but let's just go and add our first report. When we are adding a new report, you can select a new template here uh, and we can just continue. We're gonna go with classic and you can select an analysis period. You have some predefined options, but you can add a custom period too. To. So let's select uh, September, the whole month of September. We can compare to a automatic calculated previous period. We can do not compare at all when we, and we can select a custom period to compare. So like, so let's add August here as we have selected September for the analysis period. And for integrations, we have those three integrated. You can just generate the report for one, for two, for all of them. And as soon as you select a ads uh, integration, we give you the opportunity to choose some campaigns. So you're gonna have a more in-depth uh, report on those campaigns. Let's go here with the entire account for now. So let's complete and generate our report. And as soon as we are on the report page, you can see that you can uh, edit your cover here. You can add some analysis so you can uh, give more details, uh, details for your customers, explain, explain why the metrics are those are like this, why they are growing, why not they are, why they are not growing. You can select some colors here to match your identity and just save them. Actually, you can add videos and print screens to those analysis too. And here are the metrics and you can enlarge them, you can shrink them, you can change uh, the way they are positioned. So you can put more most important metrics first. Uh, you can get charts and change the way they look. So like put it like a bar, uh, you can get some uh, data table and change how they are ordered. You can change the number of rows they have. You can hide a column if you want. You can hide a line if you don't want to show them. Let's hide the first post here. Uh, and you can, of course, just get here to the control bar, select a metric that's not here and drop them. So let's, I, don't, I want to see total impressions. So let's drop it here and here we have them. And of course, in the number, you can just uh, show the absolute variation here. If not, if you do not want it to be percentage, you can hide the, cost, the comparison value of the previous period too. But if you don't want to have the metric, you can just remove them and uh, keep using the report and of course if we have more integrations you can just click here and add source if you have some strategy that you want to change the order of the reports you can just drag and drop them in the correct order so here we have facebook ads in the first here in the first position uh, and of course if you want to keep this uh, this structure you just created you can save it as a template so my my uh, paid traffic traffic template you select it let's put here facebook first and save so you can use those the, that template after and you can actually see the the report as a customer you can download it as a pdf you can copy the link share by whatsapp share by email etc so uh, let's go back to report a here this is the customer page 
uh, you can manage your integrations you can manage your team and add somebody to to actually manage it with you you can see the last three reports here or click here to see them all you can see the last three dashboards you can see the last three events on your marketing timeline and you can see your automations so let's add someone to the team here uh, i want to add app sumo user okay so let's invite them and they're gonna be here awaiting acceptance so they have to accept the invitation but if you need you can resend the email and you can delete them here let's go back to report a here and let's add our dashboard the difference between dashboards and reports is that the dashboards you can change the analysis period and make it easier to analyze uh, the data while you're creating campaigns so you're gonna have here this option to change the analysis period and comparison period and if you uh, get the link and send it to a customer they will have this option too so here you can easily select a week to under to uh, analysis to make an analysis so let's compare the first week of September to the last week of August to just update the dashboard and the data here you're gonna change so you should put your uh, main KPIs here so you can actually keep uh, looking at them with ease so we have to uh, time marketing timeline here this is like a a customer page where you can add the ev important events like the first meeting and you put details here you can add an image you can add a video you select some uh, icon save it and you can save and write in mail too so you have the first meeting here you can have uh, the first sale too so let's first internet sale and you can put details can put where okay you put your shopping cart here save and then you have the whole history of the project here and then of course you can get the, um, the link and send it to the customer and the last module is automations you can create your automation here uh, you can select weekly monthly let's select a monthly in the first Monday and the start of the day monthly automation so let's advance here you can select a template let's continue with the classic you have the period the period that i just want a facebook automation facebook book monthly report and then you can select if you want it to be uh, an in-app notification if you, if you want to receive an email and if you want to send your customer an email so let's just let it in-app and okay boom you have your first automation here so when you go back to your customer you're gonna see uh, summary of what just happened your first report your dashboard your timeline and your automations and of course if you go back to all of the customers you're gonna have a dashboard with all of them here you just have one here but as soon as you add more you're gonna add that uh, they are they're gonna to be here and you can see if you are making them informed you can have a shortcut and of course you can use this spotlight to just jump faster into projects and reports so i hope you have liked the reporte and you have any doubts just check with us we have the support down there and we are happy to help